Okay, another beer coming to us from Terrapin a Brewing Company. Uh, we did one beer before, I believe, their IPA. Hopsecutioner, I believe it was called. This beer uh, is uh, called their Coffee Oatmeal Imperial Stout. It's an American double stout coming in at 8.1% alcohol by volume. It's Terrapin Brewing Company out of uh, Athens, Georgia. I found it back in 2002, as we uh, mentioned uh, earlier on before. 8.1% uh, coffee oatmeal used to be called the Wake and Bake <laughs> Coffee Oatmeal Stout. Now, full disclosure, the owners of Terrapin Brewing, Brewing Company, big fans of Grateful Dead, so that might have had something to do with that. But this is uh, still a beer that has homage to its original name. As you can see, the WNB is still there. And just a neat kind of uh, drawing there of someone who, you know, in the morning is baking uh, stuff. Who knows? Vintage 2012 uh, on this bottle. 8.1%. Usually the American Double Stouts are usually a little bit more... Uh, ABV than the Russian Imperial Stout. However, this one is pretty much in the range of an American uh, or Russian Imperial Stout, rather. Um, most of these kind of beers are aged in bourbon barrels, a lot of coffee notes, and many of them. Uh, and it uses a premium blend of coffee, and they do list the coffees on the website. I was able to pull it up earlier. They use Costa Rican, Guatemalan, and Zimbabwe blends of coffee. So really, really out there kind of... Uh, uh, brands of coffee is what Terrapin uses for uh, this uh, this brew. It's a seasonal brew. It's only brewed in winter time. Um, so let's open her up and we'll pour it into a chalice. Love the fact that you can use a chalice for double stouts. Again, that website that I have been going on that seems to really, really know a little more about beer glassware, I think, than Beer Advocate does. I love Beer Advocate. Don't get me wrong, but anytime... Goblets are, you know, something that you can use. I will definitely use the goblet. So we'll pour Terrapin Coffee Oatmeal Imperial Stout here into our St. Bernardus goblet, and we just see a pitch black motor oil. Total motor oil pour here, as uh, you're used to with your Russian Imperial Stouts, um, with a very, very chocolatey head uh, here, as we can see it. A very frothy, chocolatey head. Uh, looking just like a, you know your your double stout usually looks like, as you can see. Let's get the aroma now of Terrapin Coffee Oatmeal Imperial Stout. Oh, man, I'm telling you. One of the heaviest coffee scents that I've ever had out of a beer. Probably the most. I, don't, I can't think of a beer that has more pungent aromas of coffee than this one. Oh, man, this is like, it's got to be highly caffeinated. It's got to be. Uh, it must be the Costa Rican, Guatemalan, and Zimbabwe working together just to be just overpoweringly coffee bomb. I'm getting no notes of, like, chocolate. Usually with coffee stouts, you get some notes of chocolate. This one, I'm just getting straight coffee. Deep, deep, straight coffee, almost like Starbucks. Like, you're walking into a Starbucks, and I'm expecting no alcohol in this, basically, is, is, is what I'm saying. Um, great aroma, though. I mean, I love coffee. I love the smell of coffee, and this one just captures it perfectly, more so than any other uh, coffee-related stout that I've had. So let's get the taste now of Terrapin Coffee Oatmeal Imperial Stout, 8.1%. Mm. I'll tell you what, that reaction was before I even swallowed the first sip. Um, wow, this is, this is, I think, a coup. I have never had a beer quite like this, where the, where it's an actual coffee stout. I'm getting no booziness whatsoever of this. And I, maybe that has a little something to do with the little bit lower ABV that you're expecting from this beer at 8.1%. But you can tell the quality of coffee is just magnificent. Um... Again, still no notes of chocolate. Just let me let me taste it again. Yeah, I'm just getting straight coffee and straight alcohol. This is a breakfast beer. This is your breakfast stout. Um, this is better, I think, than Founders Breakfast Stout, and that's saying something. Um, it really is just 
the epitome of coffee stouts, and and I, it's blowing me away that that you know, I, I, Terrapin I think is a, is a is a quality brewery. However, I never thought I would hold one of their beers in the esteem of a founder's beard, and not only that, a founder's beer that's just world world uh, class. Um, obviously, I'm going to give this beer, Terrapin Coffee Oatmeal Stout uh, Imperial Stout, a ten out of ten.